It is America's right to stretch from sea to shining sea. Greetings, this is Lunatic Fringe, and let's play Manifest Destiny. Now we're actually playing Super Amazing Super Amazing Wagon Adventure uh, on the Atari. Clearly, you can tell by the little lines on the screen. Uh, actually, it's a PC game. Uh, this is a uh, little bit of a, it's an indie uh, spoof of uh, Oregon Trail. Uh, I've been playing it for a little bit, and I just kind of wanted to see if I could actually beat it on camera. Plus, uh, I, I feel this game should get a fair amount of attention. It's already gotten a. a, a a uh, good response. It was on the Steam green light. I think it got green lit. I can't remember though. I don't know. I haven't been on. I haven't been following Steam pretty closely uh, lately. Anyway, um, other than that, uh, I also haven't had uploads in three months, so figured I might as well get something up. Uh, I wanted to apologize for the 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 random uploads through most of 2012. Uh, 2012 was a really rough year for me. I had some medical issues. Nothing too serious. Obviously, I got them worked out. I had some personal issues. Uh, I had some employment issues. So they all kind of stacked up, and I ended up really, really busy on on all that stuff. So, uh, uh, But 2013 is looking a lot better, so I'm hoping to get some more, uh, some more content up soon. Uh, I was actually going to upload something very recently, but I... Uh, didn't like the way that the project was going, so I ended up just scrapping it. Um, uh, I might talk about that a little bit more in this video, but I don't want to get into that too much now. Let's just get started. So, press space. Uh, this game, if you can hear the music, the music is absolutely phenomenal. Uh, it's just one of those typical, you know, travel along, um, across the screen, deal with the enemies, you know. It's not even a bullet hell to any kind of, uh, to any extent. So let's get the adventure started. Let's go Between 1830 and 1817, nearly half a million Americans migrated west over, over the wagon, ah, trails, ah. Oh boy, my narration's not gonna be great today. Oh shit, um. Uh, you didn't see that. One of those is my real name. Um, yeah, you guys didn't see that. One of those is my real name. I won't tell you which one. Okay, so let's make some, uh, let's make some different companions. Since you don't want to see me and my friends die. Um, well, the only reason why I found out about this game, actually, was because I watched the Two Best Friends Play, uh, Indie Games Edition, and that was one of the few games they gave their thumbs up to. So you know what? Let's play with the two best friends team. So, let's get Matt. Matt is a fine gentleman. Let's see what they got. And they've got nothing with a Punisher hat. Oh, that's disappointing. Um, a hipster mustache, eh? Hmm. Uh, let's see here. There, you're black now. Um, Sarah? Pat. Pat is not a fair lady, he is a fine gentleman. Uh, no gingers, but that's a close. An awesome beard. There we go. Christopher. And Christopher is going to be Wooly. Okay, let's go. And Wooly is... Nah, I won't be evil. He's a fine gentleman. And he is black. With dreads. Yet there is no black with dreads. Okay, then. So I guess we're stuck with that. Okay, so let's get going. They traveled in their trusty wagon. You can actually unlock wagons depending on um, what uh, 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 certain events that occur in the game. The, this game is not static. It, um, uh, the, the the story changes every time you go through it, and it's very very much. It reminds me a lot of um, Axe Cop. If you ever heard that, if you ever seen that comic where it's uh, this, I think it's like a four year old or a six year old who is telling someone to uh, is telling someone a story, and then that person has made the comic out of the story. So it's completely ridiculous. That's what this uh, game reminds me of a lot, is that kind of child telling a story and you going along with it. Anyway, I unlock some wagons, like I have the Fantasy, which is magical. Uh, I don't have the Invisible, which is unlocked by Self-Discovery, which I haven't even gotten that event yet. Uh, the Fast moves quickly. Uh, the Glitch. Uh, the Wild. Unlocked by being one with nature. The Alien. Unlocked by mystery. The Ancient, unlocked by getting breakfast. The Eastern, unlocked by mastering the sword. The Modern, unlocked by time travel. The Fancy, unlocked by beating the game. And the Survivalist, unlocked by winning with everyone alive. Mm. And this, uh, wow, there's a bloody ton of these. Okay, so we're going to go with the sta standard wagon. So they set off into the forest. Let's go. Seeing some animals in a clear in up upcoming clearing, they hurried ahead. They needed to stock up on food for the long journey. Shoot everything! Let's go! 
Fear me, turkeys! Oh, don't hit the skunks. The skunks are bad. A posse of bandits interrupted the hunt. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa. There we go. Oh, get that horse. You gotta collect hides to, uh... Whoa. Took a hit. Ah, oh, took an... Oh, fuck. Pat's not gonna last long. Come on. Some of the bandits could actually aim. Oh, that's great. Oh, shit. Get that health. I got the laser rifle. Or, uh, sorry, the laser uh, gun. Oh, oh, fuck. Man, I hate the guys who can aim. Matt left the wagon to look for wild berries. Alright, cool. Let's grab some berries. On his way back to the wagon, Matt noticed an entrance to, the, to a cave. He decided to investigate. Alright, let, Matt, let's see what's inside. It was very dark inside. No shit. Upon lighting a torch, he found it was filled with giant bats. Oh shit. There we go. Matt ran back from the cave to the wagon. They reached a river crossing. Ah, oh, Matt's not doing too well. Pat had the brilliant idea to try and jump over the river. Alternatively, they could ford it. Fuck that, let's jump it! They got a running start and leapt from the top of a ledge. Whee! Somehow, they landed safely on the other side. Yeah! They entered into the Great Plains. This is my favorite track from the whole game. They came across a large herd of buffalo. This is how they hunted buffalo in the 1800s, right? With the, uh, with laser guns? Ah, uh, Matt was gored by a bison and died. Oh, shit. Some angry buffalo charged the wagon. Fuck. Yeah, I'm not great at this game. <laughs> there we go. Got ya. Ah, oh, that was close. Whew. They came across a fur trader. The fur trader offered to uh, offer them supplies in exchange for animal hides. Cool, let's heal. Ah, oh, crap, I don't even have that many. <coughs> there was a tornado. Oh, great, I hate the tornado. The, tor the wagon was picked up by the tornado. This is going well, along with some buffalo. Oh, shit! Oh, I hate this because it goes so fucking fast. The unusualness of flying buffalo invoked an existential mood in Pat. <laughs> there we go. Come on, it's you and me, Wooly. Yeah, laser rifle. Laser gun, whatever. I have to basically fire before I see them in the hopes of actually hitting them. The front wheel uh, wheels of the wagon fell off. The wagon was stuck. That's great. Willie left the wagon to fetch the wheels. The first wheel rolled into a haunted burial site. Oh, that's fucking great. Uh, go, 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 go. Yeah, the second wheel rolled into a herd of buffalo. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, come on, let's get that airstrike. Yeah! Suck it, buffalo. Willie returned to the wagon and put the wheels back in place. Willie reached another river. This one was too deep to ford. He's probably not making it through this. Willie had the brilliant idea to swim underwater through the river. Alternatively, Willie could go around it through a desert path. Uh, let's go around. Willie made the probably wise decision to take the desert path. Willie entered the desert. Willie came across a fur trader. Um. The fur trader offered to trade Wooly. Ah, I don't have enough hides anyway, so it's irrelevant. Oh, faster shooting pistol, too. That would have been useful. Oh, now I'm, now I'm facing deadly snakes. That's great. Ah, oh, crap. A snake bite kill Wooly. Their journey ended there. The desert sand slowly swallowed the remains of their wagon. Ah, oh, that's great. Uh, just before I do anything else, let's move that text down to medium, just because... It's hard to read these without my contacts in, and... Let's go anyway, let's get started again. Yeah, fucking wagons! This is the story of one part, party of three and their adventure. Matt, Willie, Pat, let's keep, do let's keep up with the team. 
They traveled in their trusty wagon. Hmm. Standard it is. They set off into the forest. Now you'll get to see how it's different. Pat became ill with space rabies. How do you get space rabies? Seeing some animals in an upcoming clearing, blah blah blah, shoot them all. Also, this basically means that if I take one hit, Pat has a high chance of dying. There's some health though, so that's helpful. They saw a unicorn in the clearing. Hi, Mr. Unicorn. The unicorn seemed to be leading them somewhere. On the other hand, they needed all the meat they could get. Ah, yeah, sure, let's follow the unicorn. They followed the unicorn into a magical field. Aw, this is nice. It was a unicorn ambush. Oh, God! Oh, shit. Remember back in the 1800s when unicorns... Ah, oh, shit. How is Pat still alive? Uh, then the dragon attacked him. That's great. And I've got no heavy weapons. This is perfect. Matt was turned to ash. Yep, saw that coming. This is not going to last long. Remember in the 1800s when herds of unicorns and dragons freely roamed the, uh, the American West? Yeah! Killed the dragon, and I got him. Pat recovered from his space rabies. Thanks, Pat. Willie left the wagon to look for wild berries. Grab some berries, whoops. On the way back to the wagon, Willie heard a noise in the trees. A bear wanted the berries. Aw, oh, shit. Aw, oh, it's such a little thing, die. In its lasting, its last dying breath, the bear let out a cry for help. A squir a swarm of rabid squirrels heard the cry. Oh shit! Oh, I wanted to get those hides. Oh well, Wooly ran back to the wagon. They reached a river crossing. Pat had the brilliant idea to try and jump over the river. Alternatively, they could ford it. Let's ford it this time. They made the probably wise decision to ford the river. Whee! There were boulders in the river. Of course there were. Boulders do not work this way. Ow! I'm so bad at games. There were a lot of boulders in the river. That's great. Ah. These controls are kind of sticky, which doesn't help when you're doing maneuvering like this. There we go. Plus your hitbox is kind of weird too. Something something boulders. Oh, that's fucking great. Thanks. Ah, yeah! Finally they reached the other side of the river. Nice. Let's go. They entered into the Great Plains. Yeah! Doo doo. Boo boo boo. More buffalo. Great. Oh shit! A buff a bison gored Wooly in the stomach, kill him, killing him. I have to stop going up on the top part of this because it seems to always screw me. Because there's certain buffalo who are on just on, on just right angles. What the hell is this? Oh, the glitch gun. This gun fires glitches. Also, it's completely random. Its firing rate is completely random. There we go. Ah, oh, fuck. All the recreational buffalo shooting started a prairie fire. That's great. I don't think Pat's gonna last very long. Ooh, health. Let's get rid of the last of our glitches. The smoke was suffocating, so Pat hurried to escape the fire. Aw, oh, crap, we're gonna speed up, aren't we? Yep. Five bucks says the buffalo catch on fire and start attacking us. Whoa, aw, oh, fuck. Ah, fuck. Crap. I got an airstrike. The front wheels of the wagon fell off. The wagon was stuck. That's great. Pat left the wagon to fetch the wheels. Oh god, this is usually awful. 
The fir oh, okay. The first wheel rolled into a... Oh. Eat air... Wow! Airstrikes kill ghosts. I had no idea. The second wheel rolled near a coyote den. That's fantastic. Ah. Yeah, Pat! Oh, shit. I thought as soon as I got it, I'd be good, but apparently not. Yeah, I got the machine gun. Pat returned to the wagon and put the wheels back in place. Good, good job, Pat. Pat reached another river. This one was too deep to ford. <coughs> Sorry. This is not going to go well. <coughs> uh, let's go around again. Pat made the probably wise decision to take the desert path around the river. Pat entered into the desert. Pat avoided poisonous sna venomous snakes. That's great. At least these enemies don't track you. Some enemies track you in there. Ah, oh, fuck. A snake bit Pat's foot. The wood, the wound swole, swole, uh, swelled up and burst, leaking. Ah, oh, fuck. I didn't even have time to read that. Their journey ended there. Man, that desert's gotten me twice now. All right, round three. Same team. Let's, uh, actually, let's use a different wagon this time. Um, the fancy, magical, um, the fast. The glitch, let's use the glitch. The glitch, uh, as you can see, is broken as hell, and rather than having a usual gun, it has the glitch cannon. And here's the problem with the glitch, uh, uh, cart that I completely forgot about. It's pretty much impossible to harvest, um, animal skins with it, cause see? You're just constantly... You're dissolving everything into pixels. There we go, machine gun. Pan a posse of bandits interrupted the hunt, as usual. Yeah, get that horse. Get that horse. Flamethrower! Whoa, took a hit. Doing pretty good though. A machine gun arrived. A machine gun armed bandit wagon arrived. Jesus Christ. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. There we go. Health. Eat glitch. <laughs> Willie left the wagon to look for wild berries. Let's grab us some berries. On the way back to the wagon, Willie noticed a cave. An entrance to a cave. He decided to investigate. As usual. Let's hope this one isn't filled with bats. It was very dark inside. Upon lighting a church... Ah, giant bats. Oh, fuck me. This is not gonna go well. Get that flamethrower. Yeah! We can't stop here. This is bat country. Willie back, ran back from the cave to the wagon. Perfect. Okay. We're doing okay. We're doing okay. Oh, Willie's got really little health, though. Willie had the brilliant idea to try and jump over the river. Alternatively, they could ford it. I like the way you think, Willie. Let's go. Jump it! They got a running start and leapt off from the top of a ledge. Whee! Somehow they made it across. However, they landed in a bee's nest, angering the swarm. That's great. Oh, shit. Oh, that was an airstrike. Oh, well, I got a flamethrower. Come on. Just got to avoid them. Can't really hit them because they're coming from behind. Um, whoop. Damn it, that was another airstrike. They entered in the Great Plains. Yeah, Great Plains. Here we go. We're going to make it to Oregon. They came across a large herd of buffalo. Big surprise. Oh shit. I wanted to grab that, um... Some angry buffalo charged the wagon. I wanted to grab that health. Yeah! I love the flamethrower. They passed through a civil war battle! Um... Hi guys! Uh... 
Nothing personal. Kinda in my way though. Excuse me. Pardon me. Excuse me. Oh, got that health. That was close. Oh, there's the Confederates. Get out of my way. I gotta get to Oregon. Eat glitch. Yeah, airstrike. Eat it, Confederacy. The wagon's interference in the battle decimated both Union and Confederate forces. The war was lengthened and there was a great loss of life. Hey, you can't blame me for that. A wagon at Axel broke. The wagon was stuck. That's great. Willie left the wagon to walk to the nearest trading post, miles away. Alright. What's gonna hit me? Coyotes hounded him. Okay. Eat glitches! Yeah, health. Ooh, rocket launcher. Whoa! That was close. It was a long journey. This is kind of overkill using a uh, rocket launcher to kill um, uh, coyotes, but you know what's even more overkill? Using an airstrike. Come on, guys. There you go. Boom. Oh, I want that machine gun. Ah, oh, fuck. Finally, Willie reached the trading post. Go. The replacement ask Axel cost all of Willie's money. Then he had to travel back. All right, and there's still coyotes, of course. Okay, so I lived in the country for most of my life, and like I, I've seen coyotes. I've seen coyote packs constantly, and those are the ballsiest fucking coyotes I've ever seen in my life. There we go, we reached another river. We're doing great this time. We got all three guys. That's perfect. Oh, but Willie's Willie uh, is really low health. Matt had the brilliant idea to swim underwater through the river. Alternatively, they could go around it through a desert path. Ah, let's swim. They took a deep breath and then jumped in. Perfect. They face deadly piranhas. This reminds me of old Mario uh, water stages. That's probably obviously the intention, but... Eat glitches, you piranha fuckers! Ah, oh, that one piranha is gonna get me. Ah, oh, shit, 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 Get that health. Oh, this is not going well. Oh, that was close. Saved by the uh, screen change. <laughs> die, 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 They landed on a small island to catch their breath. We're only halfway through, that's great. Ugh. Willie noticed some very large eggs sitting on the beach. He fancied an omelette for breakfast. Oh, Willie, what's gonna try and kill you? Unfortunately, the par pterodactyls that laid the eggs were proportionally large and were quite protective over their eggs. Holy fuck! Are they suicide diving? But are, are they like suicide bombing me? Cause that thing, ah, uh, Wooly was killed by a pterodactyl. <laughs> when Wooly did not return to the wagon, they left the island without him, swimming onto the shore, onto the shore of the river. Well, to be honest, I think they pretty much entered Jurassic Park there. So, yeah, we're in the mountain pass. That's awesome. Food supplies were di dwindling, so they hunted. Doesn't mean shit since I am carrying this gun. Oh, I got a flamethrower now. That'll make things easier. Eat it, llamas! Are, are llamas, like, native to... Oh, a pack of wolves smelled their blood. Eat it, wolf! Eat it, wolves! Oh, shit. Ah, oh, crap. These wolves are such a pain. Ah. Oh. Yeah! Though, I hope it doesn't... Oh, they came across a fur trader. Perfect. Please be the kind that sells health. The fur trader offered to... Ah! Damn it! The mountain pass is cold, so at night they drank to stay warm. Oh, perfect. This makes them heal. Oh, no. 
inebriated, Matt left the wagon to relieve himself. Oh, great, I'm, I'm drunk. This is fantastic. Unfortunately, his drunken stumbling attracted the attention of some bears. Oh, I gotta do this while I'm drunk. This is wonderful. Eat glitch! Matt managed to stumble back into camp. Oh, shit! It was the wrong camp. It was a camp filled with bandits. That's great. Matt ran away drunkenly with the bandits chasing behind him. He made it back to the wagon, and then they left in a hurry. However, they were all drunk. Oh god, what's gonna happen? Yeah, yeah, oh god, this is terrible. The bandits attacked the wagon. Oh, I'm... Oh, this is, this is bad. This is, oh, 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 one hit and Pat's dead. Come on. A Pat died with a, yeah, yeah, I saw that coming. Oh, shit. Come on, Matt. After a long night of vomiting, Matt felt awful and accidentally drove off a cliff. Matt, you were just fucking things up for us. At least Wooly only killed himself and his stupidity. Some eagles attacked the wagon. Oh, shit. God damn it. Matt was killed by a large, angry eagle. That was my bad. I failed horribly there. The party's journey ended there. The wagon eventually smashed into the ground where the eagles picked up the remains. <sighs> Alright. Screw it. Let's try this one more time with Team uh, Two Best Friends Play. They traveled in their trusty wagon. Um, actually, let's stay with the standard for this this round. They set off into the forest. Whoop! Stupid mic. There we go. Blah blah blah. Go create some endangered species. Oh, health! I don't need. That's great. Thanks, game. Get out of here, skunk. No one likes you. A posse of bandits interrupted the hunt, as usual. I find firing before they actually come on screen is the best way, because he can kill like one or two of them instantly. There we go. There we go. Yeah, bazooka! Oh, fuck. Gotta be kidding the game, come on. A machine gun arrived. Great. As soon as I uh As soon as I get rid of my missile launcher, that's when the uh, machine gun arrives. That's fantastic. Up down. Up down. Up ah, oh, great, now he's moving, that's fantastic. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. Ah fuck. Uh, Pat left the wagon to look for wild berries. How is our health doing? Oh, Pat's the only one who has damage. On his way back to the wagon, Pat heard a noise in the trees. A bear wanted the berries. Again with the bears. Die. In the last dying breath of the bear, let out a cry for help. A swarm of rabid squirrels heard the cry. Yet once again, we're dealing with the rabid squirrels. That's great. Pat headed back to the wagon. How are we doing on furs? They reached a river crossing. 19, that's pretty shitty. Roy had the brilliant idea to jump over the river. Alternatively, they could ford it. Actually, jumping's been working pretty good for me so far. They got a running start and leapt from the top of a ledge. Whee! They only made it halfway across the river. They landed in the middle of some rapids. Oh shit, I've had this happen before. You gotta move before you even actually see the screen or else you're gonna get hit with a boulder. Go, go, go. There was a pirate ship blocking their progress. Okay, I have never had this, and oh my god, this is terrifying. Finally, they returned to the other side. They reached the other side of the river. Thank god I had that machine gun, or else that would have been bad. They entered into the Great Plains. We're actually doing okay. Now we're all gonna die because I said that. They came across a large herd of buffalo. Aw, oh, shit. Yeah, shotgun! Some angry buffalo charged the wagon. Doesn't matter, I got a shotgun. Suck it. 
Come on, guys. Oh shit. Shit, 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 shit. Pat was crushed by a bison. There was a tornado! Oh god. Freaking buffalo tornado. The wagon was picked up by the buffalo. Uh, by the tornado. Along with some buffalo. Yep. Ah god, this goes so fast. I'm just going to hang out up here and try and dodge anything while firing constantly. Maybe grab some hides along the way, come on! Yeah! The front wheel of the wagon fell off. The wagon was stuck. We gotta get the wagon wheels again, that's great. Or we're going to have to go and, uh, oh! Pat left the wagon to fetch the wheels. The first wheel rolled near a coyote den. Always with the fucking coyotes, jeez. Was, was that it? Can I just leave? Um, the second bandit uh, wheel rolled into a camp filled with bandits. Oh, hi! <laughs> Eat rocket launcher. Pat returned to the, uh, Matt returned to the wagon and put the wheels back in place. They reached another, another river. This one was too deep to ford. Uh, we're going to actually take the desert path on this one. I only like to go through the water if I have uh, all three guys, because there's a... Uh, I, I've basically only gotten as far as, as this point. I usually tend to die on the mountain. But uh, if you go through the desert, you have a chance of getting a uh, another companion, so... Might as well do that. Alright, you venomous snakes. Yeah, yeah, saw that coming. Oh, this was a really bad weapon for this! Alf. Oh. Shotgun! The man-eating giant scorpions were even more deadly. What the fuck is this? Fallout? Come on! Did we end up in Fallout by accident? Ah, oh, shit. I'm waiting for the next thing to read, you know, like, Oh, and then the Enclave showed up. Eat it! Yeah, just desserts. That's a good pun, I really like that. They know some kind of ancient alien on the side of the trail. Matt decided to investigate. Um... I'm not saying it was aliens, but it was aliens. Let's go. It was very dark inside. I'm sure this is gonna go well. Upon lighting a torch, he found it filled with giant venom-spitting cobras. What the fuck? Oh, shit. Oh, and they can aim! Matt ran back from the ruins to the wagon. Yeah, I don't blame you. Yeah, mountain pass. Nice. This is actually going okay. They ate a tasty meal of buffalo chili. Perfect, that'll heal them. Yeah, we're all healed up. Matt came down with cholera. God damn it, Matt. Food supplies were dwindling, so they hunted. This is actually good, because if I run into a fur trader, this means that I might actually be able to afford to pay for healing, maybe buy weapons if I'm really lucky. Airstrike! A pack of wolves smelled the blood. Yeah, yeah. Just focus on the wolf. Ah, fuck. A wolf chewed on Matt till he died. Ah, he's got cholera. Wooly came across a fur trader. Alright, it's you and me, Wooly. Come on. The fur trader offered to trade Wooly newer, faster wagon wheels for 90 animal hides. Yeah, sure, why not? Wooly traded the new for the newer wagon wheels. Now we can go faster. And we're it's easier to maneuver. A snowstorm began. The wolves were relentless even during the snowstorm. God damn it, I hate these wolves. The problem is that you literally got like two shots at these things before they uh, get too close to your wagon. To the side of the trail, Wooly saw a dark figure. Wooly left the wagon to investigate. Oh, I'm sure this is gonna go well. Oh, fuck! Turns out it was Bigfoot, and Bigfoot was mad. 
God damn it, Bigfoot, what did I ever do to you? And how are you... What are you shooting at me? Oh shit, let me get that shotgun, come on! Yeah! Willie ran back to the wagon and Willie left in a hurry. Then he accidentally drove off a cliff. To be fair, he fucked up less than Matt did, because at least he was running from Bigfoot. Some eagles attacked the wagon, of course. Willie's death at the hands of an eagle was a metaphor for the plight of migrating Americans or something. <laughs> yeah, 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 those goddamn eagles. Alright, so let's try this again. 